Hello everyone, on this video I'm going to be talking about the basic diagram of the heart which you cover both in Key Stage 3, 4 and 5. So let's start by moving this up. And what we have here, what I've drawn, is just a very simple diagram of the mammalian heart. And on the right hand side we have all the labels that you would typically see on a diagram of it. And we're going to go through each one, talk about where they go, and easy tips to remember where to put them. Now, in a person, if I just move this over to the right, just very simply, and again, I'm just going to do this freehand, draw, draw somebody here. We always think of the heart as being on the left-hand side. So the, their heart is over at this point over here. And you imagine when you're labelling the heart that you are that person. So this would be the left side and this would be the right hand side. And that's really important to remember. So let's come back to the diagram here. Now, what we have to do is imagine that the lungs above the heart are full of oxygen. And that oxygen is carried by the red blood cells in the blood and has to get to all the cells and the tissues for respiration and it has to get around the body by being pumped by the heart so that oxygenated blood from the lungs is going to come and it's going to come down this first major blood vessel okay now the the word pulmonary refers to lung and what you think about the differences between arteries and veins veins always carry blood to the heart. So as this is a blood vessel going to the heart from the lung, it takes the name the pulmonary vein. So this big tube here is called the pulmonary vein. So now if we just continue, the blood comes through this pulmonary vein and gets into this space here, this big chamber. We call this a chamber, one of four that the heart has. And this big chamber here is referred to as the left atrium. If you remember this is our left side and this is our right side if we are imagining that this heart is in our own body. So all this blood now is in our left atrium. It then will come down through these what appears to be two little flaps, these two black lines here. Now those flaps actually have the name of valves and they are designed to prevent blood going backwards so they'll open to let the blood through, and when all the blood's through, they'll then shut to stop it going the wrong way. And this particular valve on the left is called the bicuspid valve. The word bi means two, and cusp is a flap, so it's like two little flaps that open and close. So that's the bicuspid valve. Blood then continues its journey, and now, once it's through the valve, enters this region here. And this here is the big chamber of the heart. It's got the thickest muscle because when it contracts, it has to push blood all around the body. And this massive chamber is the left ventricle. Now, just to be clear at this point, the left side beats at exactly the same time that the right side beats. I'm just for the diagram showing you what happens side by side in turn. So the blood, once it's in the left ventricle, waits until the ventricle then contracts and is forced up through this tube here. Now these two black lines are just circle in blue so you can see. These two black lines are just like the bicuspid valve. They are also valves preventing blood going the wrong way. But these ones are called the semilunar valves. So there's one on the left, but there's also the one on the right. So we'll just put that title there. So when the blood goes through the semilunar valve on the left side, it continues up and it goes out of this major blood vessel here. So the one that I'm just shading in at the moment here. It's a very rough sketch. But I want to emphasise the importance of this blood vessel here because it's the biggest artery in the whole body and it's going to carry blood from the heart the left side all the way around to every cell and tissue and this 
big blood vessel is called the aorta. So on the left side you have the pulmonary vein going down through the left atrium, the left ventricle and out the aorta. So blood goes around the body, oxygen carried by the red blood cells or the haemoglobin specifically is given up to the cells and tissues for respiration and the deoxygenated blood then has to clearly return to the lungs to pick up some more oxygen. But it has to go to the heart first to be able to pump, be pumped rather to the lung. So we're going to use another colour, we'll use blue for this one, to explain what happens when blood comes back to the heart. So once it's given up the oxygen it comes back to the right side of the heart this time through this vessel here. Now this is the biggest vein in the body and this one is called the vena cava. So we'll just put the vena cava name there. Just like it did on the left side, the blood once through the vena cava comes into this chamber here, which, as you might have guessed, is the right... Oh, I seem to have moved the wrong thing there. Is the right atrium, just put that title there, then the blood continues through a valve here into the left ventricle, so we can put the left, so apologies, the right ventricle in place here. Now this valve on the right hand side is made of three flaps and the word three is tri, so this one is the tricuspid valve, so the tricuspid valve is this one just here. Now a little tip that I always used to remember it by is always try and be right. Try, right, try and right. But everyone's got a different way of remembering it. So, blood comes through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle here. It's going to go out of this large blood vessel. Then once the right ventricle contracts through the semilunar valve, back up to the lung. So as we said again, the word for lung is pulmonary, but blood that is carried away from the heart is called an, of blood vessels that carry blood away from the heart, is called an artery. So this vessel here is called the pulmonary artery. So we can put the pulmonary artery in place. You'll notice we've got one label left, the apex. And the apex is just the scientific name for the, the base of the heart. So there's our basic heart structure and all the labels included on it. Now one, one way that I personally found quite useful when I was learning the heart was to think of it as A is at the top and then they come down to the V's, like the alphabet, A to V, A in the middle and then you work your way out to the side. Pulmonary artery, aorta, pulmonary vein, vena cava. That's how I personally remember which side is which. So left side blood comes in through the pulmonary vein, through left atrium, left ventricle and out the aorta to the body. At the same time deoxygenated blood comes through the vena cava, through the right atrium, right ventricle and out of the pulmonary artery to go back to the lungs to pick up more oxygen and the cycle just begins again. And the valves, really important job of the valve, tricuspid, bicuspid, semilunars, all to stop the blood going backwards to prevent it going the wrong way. Hope that helps people.